a forgotten drug from World War I, a mysterious connection to autism. Could one injection change a child's life? This is the story of Suramin, a 100-year-old medication that's ignited hope, sparked controversy, and may hold the key to an autism breakthrough. Autism spectrum disorder affects one in 36 children in the U.S. and millions of families worldwide. For many, it's a daily quest, not for a cure, but for something that might help their child connect, speak, and thrive. Enter Suramin, first developed in 1916 by German scientists to treat African sleeping sickness, a deadly parasitic disease spread by the tsetse fly. For over a century, it's remained on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. But its next chapter might be its most unexpected. How did a drug for tropical disease end up in autism research? That path leads to Dr. Robert Navio at the University of California, San Diego, a scientist with a bold theory that autism may involve more than just brain wiring. Navio studies something called the cell danger response a survival mechanism that activates when cells face stress from toxins, infections, or injury. He believes that in some people with autism, this response gets stuck in the on position, disrupting normal development and social interaction. His radical idea, what if Suramin, which blocks certain signaling pathways in that response, could reset the system and improve symptoms? In 2014, his team tested Suramin in mice that showed autism-like behaviors. The results were surprising. The treated mice showed fewer repetitive actions and improved social interaction, and these changes lasted for weeks after just one dose. The buzz from this preclinical success led to a small human trial in 2017. Ten boys with autism, half received a placebo, the others a single infusion of Suramin. What followed caught everyone's attention. Parents reported subtle but meaningful changes, spontaneous speech increased eye contact, better social engagement. One family described it as watching their child wake up for the first time. But alongside the hope came necessary caution. The trial was very small. Only five boys received the actual drug. The effects faded after six weeks, and there haven't been large published trials since then. Suramin also comes with potential risks. While it's been used safely for decades in adults, it can cause nausea, skin rashes, and in rare cases, more serious side effects like adrenal problems. Its long-term safety in children remains unknown. Still, Navio's research opened new doors. It challenged the idea that autism is entirely hardwired, suggesting there may be metabolic processes at play that we can influence. That shift in thinking could change how autism is researched and treated in the future. As of 2024, Suramin is not approved for autism, and no large-scale trials have been completed. The COVID-19 pandemic caused delays in follow-up research, and progress has been slower than many hoped. Scientists are now exploring whether specific subgroups of autistic individuals might benefit more than others, but the broader impact is already visible. The Suramin story has sparked interest in the intersection of metabolism and neurodevelopment and in the potential for treatments that go beyond managing symptoms to addressing root causes. It's a story of scientific curiosity, patient perseverance, and cautious hope. A story that reminds us that sometimes answers come from the most unexpected places, even from a century-old medicine bottle. If this story resonated with you, please like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations of autism research and emerging treatments. Tap the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.